Hi guys, welcome to Joshua's Tech Tips. So this is part one in a series of videos that I'll be making explaining what computer networks are and how they work. So what exactly is a computer network? According to Wikipedia, a computer network is a group of computers that use a set of common communication protocols over digital interconnections for the purpose of sharing resources located on or provided by the network nodes. And I know that seems like a mouthful. So basically what this means is that it's a bunch of computers that are connected by some sort of digital transmission, whether it's Wi-Fi, cables, etc., with the purpose of sharing resources. And the first set of computer networks were used by private organizations in the late 1950s, such as the U.S. military. So originally, computer networks weren't intended for residential use. They were used strictly by large organizations because they were pretty expensive to set up and maintain back then. So what is the main purpose of a computer network? The main purpose of a computer network is to share resources such as data, internet access, printers, etc. So if we refer to this diagram, this is what a typical home or small office network would look like. So we can see here we have some desktop computers, we have some laptop computers, um, we have some printers and phones, and at the top here we have one internet connection. So if computer networks didn't exist Instead of all the devices sharing this one internet connection, we will need to take out an individual internet connection for all these individual devices. And as you can imagine, that would be pretty costly. Could you imagine taking out a separate internet plan for all your devices at your home, right? But because of computer networks, all these resources, all these devices can share this one internet connection. Also, it allows us to share these printers. So any one of these, these computers could print to this printer once it has the necessary access, it could print to this printer, right? If a computer network did not exist, we would have to purchase individual printers for each one of these computers. Again, that would be pretty costly. So Without computer networks, we can imagine, just imagine how costly life would be in general. You know, we need to be taken out. Some of us, depending on how many devices we have at our home, we could take out maybe a dozen internet connections, right? So the main purpose of internet um, computer networks is that it allows us to share all these resources and in the long run, save a lot of money. So there are a lot of different types of computer networks. However, the two main types of computer networks are LANs, which are local area networks, and WANs, which are wide area networks. So local area networks, these are typically smaller networks, which are isolated to one geographical location. For example, your home or a small office, they typically comprise of a LAN, right? So again, if we refer to this diagram, we, this is what a typical LAN would look like, you know, where all devices are just isolated to one geographical location. On the other hand, wide area networks, these are larger networks, which typically span over multiple locations. For example, a company which has several branch offices and one head office. So if we look at the diagram here, here we could see there's one company has a head office and they have several branch offices. Again, similar to a local area network, the head office, they may have file servers, they may have different types of services that these branch offices would need to access. So instead of we place the company placing servers at each individual branch office, again, this would be very expensive if they decided to do something like that because servers are pretty expensive. They would store all of these services and servers at the head office and use a private network, a WAN, 
enter can interconnect all the branch offices back to the head office. So some typical ways this could be accomplished is where they would have a Metro Ethernet connection, you know, so this is basically a network that's isolated from the internet and from any other network and that thus interconnects all these branch offices and head offices or they could use the public internet as well and um, build something called a VPN tunnel um, and connect back to the head office. Right, so that's basically the main idea of WANs. They tend to span multiple locations and they are used by larger organizations. So the largest WAN area network is also the most popular computer network in the world. This is the World Wide Web, also known as the Internet. So the Internet is really just a bunch, when I say a bunch, millions or possibly billions of interconnected devices in this large computer network. So when you, for instance, right, when you, right, forgive my drawing, right, when you access a service such as YouTube, right, or Facebook or any of these services on the internet, you're actually using a computer network, right? To get information from and send information to the internet, right? So without computer networks, could you imagine a world without internet? It may be better than what we currently have because currently we have access to too much data in my opinion, but without computer networks, the internet would not exist literally. So now that we have a little idea what computer networks are, we're going to find out what are the components that create these computer networks, right? So first up, we have the transmission medium. So this is the, um, the technology that's used to actually connect the devices together, right? So this may be cable. So if you look at the diagram here, we have these cables that are used to connect this these devices together. So this is this would be considered a transmission media. Um, a lot not nowadays Wi-Fi is pretty po um, popular. So Wi-Fi is another transmission medium. Without that, devices would not be able to interconnect with each other. Moving on, we have switches. So switches are these devices, right? So switches make make um, local area. Um, network connections possible, right? This allows communication in your internal network. So for instance, if this computer here wanted to send information or get information from this computer here, it would take place at the switch, right? So the switch will be, be, be passing data between these two computers or anything inside of your network. So for instance, your home network or your your small office network, um, anything, any internal communication, that's what switches do. That's the purpose of a network switch. Uh, moving on, we have routers. So routers are these devices here and they make um, communication possible between two different types of networks. So um, a popular example of this would be your internal home network. Here you have a LAN, right? A local area network, which is a, um, a separate network. And here we have the internet, which is a wide area network, right? So your home is a LAN, right? Um, your home network is a LAN and the internet is a WAN, right? So these are two different types of networks. So that is where the router comes in. The router makes communication possible between these two different types of networks. Without a router, you would not be able to communicate um, externally or vice versa, right? So a router is, is a pretty, um, it's a pretty important device. Next up, we have firewalls, which is this device right here. So firewalls actually um, enforce security policies as we know the internet is while it's a good thing it's also a very dangerous thing there's a lot of malicious software and hackers etc and the firewall actually enforces security policies to keep your network safe 
And last but not least, we have network protocols. So this is basically the language that all these devices use to speak with each other. You, they use a common language. The most popular um, network protocol that we use, that internet uses, is TCP IP. Right? So that's basically just the language that the devices use to communicate with each other. And that brings us to the end of this video, guys. I hope you have a little better understanding of how computer networks work and how important they are. Um, in future videos, I'll be going more in depth in terms of how the computer networks work, specifically the devices such as the switches, the routers, the protocols, etc. So if that is something you will be interested in seeing, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also consider giving it a big thumbs up and sharing this video if it was useful to you. Thanks again for viewing. See you soon.